You've probably seen blue bubbles and green bubbles, but do you know what they really mean? And why can't your iPad text your Android friend? Hi, I'm Mike. I can help break down Apple's messages, iMessage, SMS, and RCS, because once you understand all the parts, the confusion actually goes away. Before we jump into a bunch of settings and all of that, let's get a few foundational elements out of the way. So what are these platforms? Let's start with iMessage. iMessage is Apple's internet-based messaging service. It allows Apple devices to talk with each other. It addresses each other using either email addresses or phone numbers, and it is the source of the blue bubbles. And so next would be the text messaging platform, which uses SMS, which is simple messaging service, um, and RCS, which is rich communication services. This is the protocol that goes over your iPhone's cell plan. And your iPhone will use that platform when it cannot find the user in the iMessage platform. And that's when you see the green bubbles. So how does your iPad and your Mac send a text to a non-Apple user? Well, quite frankly, they can't. That is, unless you've connected them to your iPhone that has cell service, at that point, then those devices can send text messages to your non-Apple using friends. And we're gonna get into the details coming up next. Okay, let's take a quick step back and take a look at these foundational elements and how they work together in the real world. On one side, we have the blue bubble. This is iMessage. Now iMessage works with your Mac, your iPad, and your iPhone. And it uses email and phone numbers to address your friends. And it is the source of the blue bubbles. Now on the other side is where SMS and RCS live. This is where your friends who use the Android devices, this is where they hang out. And this platform is based on phone numbers. And they are also the source of the green bubbles. Okay, let's take a quick look back at iMessage. Now, when the iPhone has a working SIM card or has an activated eSIM within it, at that point, it can start to communicate with the SMS and RCS world. And once that iPhone is configured, it can share the text messages with your iPad. It can also share them with the Mac. And this is where the iPhone acts as a relay. It allows all that messaging here on the iMessage side to actually relay over into the SMS and RCS world. Real quick, if you're finding the video useful, consider hitting the like button. And if you'd like videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's jump into the settings and get this stuff configured. First, we're gonna check and make sure that iMessage is enabled on all of our devices. First up, let's start with the iPhone. Under settings, let's go down to apps. Let's jump down to the M section, find messages. Down here, you'll see the iMessage toggle. Make sure that it is enabled. And next, let's hop over to the iPad, open up settings, scroll down to apps, jump down to messages, 
And you can see the iMessage toggle right there. Just make sure it's enabled. Now over to the Mac. The settings are not in the Settings app. They're actually in the Message app. Let's open up Messages. Under the Messages pull-down menu, hit Settings. And on the iMessage tab, just make sure that you're logged in. Um, chances are, if you're not, uh, the Message app is going to prompt you to log in. Now let's go ahead and set up text message forwarding. This is what allows the iPhone to relay those text messages from your Android friends into the iMessage platform for you to be able to interact with on your Apple devices. Like I said, let's jump back into the Settings app on iPhone. Scroll down to the bottom, tap Apps. Let's jump down to Messages again. And let's scroll down just a little ways here and you will see text message forwarding. Tap into it, and this is where you can toggle on and off each Apple device you would like to have those text messages forwarded to. Okay, so we've got those set up. Let's go ahead and enable the ability to synchronize all our messages among all of our devices. That is called Messages in iCloud. Let's set it up on the iPhone. Open up your Settings app, tap your name, go to iCloud, tap Messages, and you'll see Messages in iCloud. Make sure it's toggled on for this iPhone. And over on the iPad, open up Settings, tap iCloud, tap Messages, and you'll see up there at the top, Messages in iCloud, make sure it's toggled on for this iPad. And finally on the Mac, open up Messages because it's not in the System Settings app. Go under iMessage pull-down, hit Settings, and then under the iMessage tab, make sure that Enable Messages in iCloud is checked. You might be wondering whether or not Messages in iCloud needs an iCloud Plus subscription, and technically it does not. There's five gigabytes free included with each Apple account, but in reality, you're gonna hit that limit very quickly. So Messages in iCloud works a lot better with a paid iCloud subscription. At this time, in mid-2025, the storage subscription costs are pretty affordable overall, but they're not free. Okay, now you know what those blue and green bubbles actually mean. Your iPhone, Mac, and iPad are all able to send and receive text messages now. Thanks for watching until the end, and until next time, have fun, stay safe, and keep learning.